Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing one of the most highly requested videos in the last couple of months on my channel and since I mentioned um, about the buccal massage, so the intra oral or inside of the mouth massage, so many people have been asking me to share my routine. So I finally sat down to film it and um, it took me a while because uh, I had a really bad cold so that took almost a month or over a month to heal so it finally is healed and um, but a little note that if you ever get cold sores do not massage while that cold sore is kind of like active and inflamed because you can spread that infection um, into your mouth and then you might get like mouth infections which is just not a great idea. The things we will need for this massage, the main thing is some silicone gloves or some gloves that doesn't have talc in them uh, or powder um, and you can do it without gloves and you can just have very very clean hands but I definitely prefer using gloves. If you have long nails um, it could be a little bit problematic if you have long nails to do this just because we go into the mouth and it's not um, great if you might scratch the inside of your mouth um, but if you do um, have long nails just be mindful. You can try using your knuckles as well uh, or you can use a gua sha too. So see for yourself um, what suits you. But I'm going to just put my hair away from my face first. We will start with a bit of a warm-up for our lymph nodes and then we will get into the inside of our mouth. So we're going to start with warming up the lymph. So if you have any oil, you can apply it on your neck and your chest. So I'm just going to start by knuckling my chest. So just using my knuckles in circular motion. If you have some massage oil, some body oil, face oil, you can use that. Olive oil if you have to, but wash it off straight after the massage. Fingers over and under the collarbone. You might get some redness, that's absolutely fine. And if you need to reapply oil at any point, you can do so. I'm gonna go up and down the sides of my neck. So I'm going up in the middle and down the sides. So the platysma muscle that is located in the center prefers to be lifted up and then we're draining down the lymph towards the collarbones. So again here we are working with lymph, just like in most of my massages. And then taking your knuckles again, I'm just going to knuckle the back of the neck and kind of the top of the shoulders. So we a lot of the times have a lot of tension in the shoulders and the neck and that can create um, a lot of tension then in the jawline and that then creates tension in the forehead temples, temporal muscle, and that creates wrinkles. So it's all connected. So giving a little bit of massage to the shoulders and the neck can relax that. Just watch your posture as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit closer and uh, get my gloves on. So ideally the gloves should fit quite well, so like second skin. But if they're a little bit loose, that's absolutely fine as well. First thing I'm gonna do actually is relax the chewing muscle, which is located here. And then we will work uh, on some lymphatic um, moves that help to drain the fluids out of the face to get rid of that puffiness. And also um, work on the connections of the muscles to the upper jawline and lower jawline. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is take my first finger and then we're going to try and locate the chewing muscle. Even if you feel it from the top, you can feel it right here. So this is what we're aiming for. Um, it might even feel like bone. That's how hard it can be if it's very spasmed and it's very um, kind of worked and um, a little bit tight. So just locate it. So I'm holding my finger like this. And then allow your head to press into it so don't press your finger into it just allow the weight of your head to drop onto it and hold it there ideally if you have a table place your uh, elbow on a table and then we hold i 
and then move a little bit higher this might be incredibly uncomfortable and incredibly painful but that means that it probably needs some extra work so if it's very painful just close your eyes go to a good place and try to stay there for a couple of seconds so i'm just here and a little bit lower or a little bit higher so just working long you can also use your thumb if that works better for you i know how unpleasant this can be but do try so we're gonna go on the other side again first finger or thumb A little bit higher and release it's good to have a little tissue next to you just so you can wipe your hands then we will move on to a couple of lymphatic drainage moves like I said to drain out the lymph so I'm gonna go with the thumb in and then we will work along from the nose all the way towards the ear. So we go one, two, three, four, and five. So I end up at that chewy muscle again. You can apply a bit of oil on your face if you want a little bit of slide. Um, it's much better to do it with oil. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do two more. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. So inside, I am following my thumb along and supporting it from the inside. So really find that edge, um, almost like that fold in your skin. And then we will do the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, and again. And last one. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. Another great lymphatic drainage move is we're gonna put the thumb in, and then I'm gonna use my middle finger to go around the arm. We lift and lift and lift. You can do both at the same time. <laughs> Nobody said this is going to look pretty. <laughs> so this move is great for removing any uh, puffiness and kind of fluid buildup around your eye and to lift the brow because we work up down and then down up toward the tear duct to eliminate the uh, to drain out the fluids so then we're gonna go deeper into the nasal labial fold so i'm gonna place my finger on the inside i'm going to press it out and massage with the top fingers so it's going like this
So really start high. And then the other side. I'm gonna go on to the lower part of my face. I'm gonna place the thumb on the inside here and work along the jawline towards the ears and towards the chewing muscle. So thumb is in and then we circle. So it looks like this. And with this hand, I'm just supporting. So when you're going along, really follow your thumb along. So it's not just your other fingers that are moving. Your thumb is going along as well. Really press your fingers together towards each other. So this works great for the marionette lines and if you want to go a little bit deeper into the marionette lines then you can scoof from the chin and jawline up. And then if you have um, fine wrinkles above your lips so or like smoker's lines, then we're gonna go in with both thumbs and then I'm gonna stretch the skin a little bit. So I'm just pulling it apart. And the same can be done in the bottom. Okay, we're gonna work a little bit more into the depressors, um, so the muscles here. What we're gonna do is gonna place the thumb in, and then I'm gonna pull the muscles in, hold it there, and then release. So I pull in, hold, and then I release. So again, I pick it up, bring it in, and release. And release. And again, hold, release. And then the other side. So holding there, slide in. And let's do a couple of sweeps so you can keep your gloves on or you can take them off that is up to you so we are sweeping from the mouth towards the ears and down so draining everything out 
I hope you feel good because I definitely always feel amazing after that massage. Uh, I usually do this about once a week. Um, up to you how many times you want to do it. I wouldn't do uh, this massage too often. Once a week would be enough. Um, and if you have any questions at all about it or any requests for future massages, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!